What is a continuous glucose monitor? Well, a continuous glucose monitor is a device that can use your tissue fluid to assess or estimate what your blood glucose readings would be like and send that directly to a device such as your phone. My name is Yasser. I've lived with type 1 diabetes for the past, I can't even count how many years, but since 2001, since 2001, yes. About April 2001 is when I was diagnosed with diabetes. And today I'm gonna try out the Dexcom 1. The Dexcom 1 is a device that provides continuous glucose uh, monitoring and it's slightly different to the G6 and G7 where it can't send that device uh, to your Apple watch for example or a smartwatch that you're using. So let's try this out. This video is really going to be an unboxing. It's the first time I'm trying it out. I currently use a Freestyle Libra that you can see right over there. This is the sensor that you need to use to install the Dexcom. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so this is some guides of how to use it. Oh, there's nothing on the box. I was watching a video earlier. So let's try putting the sensor on. You have to just take that protective film off. I'm gonna have a rough idea of where I want to install it. What I'm trying to do is I've got a few lumps in certain areas. I'm trying to avoid those lumps. So this, should hang off just fine. I'm gonna turn slightly to the side. I'll just get a bit worried about this part. Oh, <laughs> that was a funky sound, but it was pretty painless. So that is my sensor installed. Sometimes I check over here to see I don't have any blood that's coming out. So that should be fine. Once I've done that, then I need to put in my transmitter. So this is my transmitter for the Dexcom 1. Let's open this device here. You can see it just over there. Okay, so now I'm going to put the Dexcom 1 transmitter in. If I am feeling the way it goes, it should, I can't see anything, it should go in like this, and then I click it into position. So they're relatively without even looking at the device. So now I'm going to go on the Dexcom app and set it up for the first time. Currently put the transmitter and the sensor in place and let's put all of this details into the app. Just gonna agree to the legal side of things, confirm. It showed me how it works, I've done all of that. Okay, so I'm gonna allow Bluetooth for the Dexcom to connect. I'm gonna allow notifications. I'm going to put in the serial number of the transmitter. So these are all the things that I did not expect to see. Okay, I've confirmed the serial number of the transmitter. Okay, you have to put the sensor code as well. Enter code manually. 9759. I really didn't expect this many settings for it. Okay, it's working, it's pairing, and start sensor warm up. So, this is something that um, I heard of, and it's the first time I've seen it here. It takes two hours to warm up the sensor, it takes one hour with the Freestyle Libra. So, the, this is my essentially the insertion process, and this is doing it with a very minimal reading. So, very simple to do and I will share my thoughts of my experiences with the Dexcom and I'll also compare its 
the readings to the Freestyle Libra too. So I'll keep both of these in place and I'll be very interested to know the differences in these values. So if you like this video, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.